1300 hours Pakistan standard time this is radio pakistan first the headlines i'm humayu zebabasi foreign minister says peace in afghanistan will help improve regional connectivity boost trade activities in the region in India, 33 out of 78 ministers in Prime Minister Modi's revamped cabinet have admitted that there are criminal cases pending against them. World Population Day is being observed today in the world to raise awareness of global population issues. In Nigeria, 35 people have been killed after unknown gunmen launched coordinated attacks on the remote villages in Zamfara state. Now the news in detail. Former Minister Shammut Qureshi has said that a negotiated settlement is the best option for the durable peace in Afghanistan. Talking to media persons in Multan, he said Pakistan wishes to engage senior leaders of Afghanistan to seek a durable peace possible only through a negotiated political settlement. The former minister said he is also visiting Uzbekistan and Tajikistan to discuss the Afghan issues with his counterparts or respective countries. He said peace in Afghanistan will help improve regional connectivity, leading to boost trade activities, especially in Central Asian states and Afghanistan. Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid Ahmed says Pakistan is desirous to, of peace in Afghanistan. Talking to media in Rawalpindi today, he said Afghanistan is a sovereign country. He said Pakistan's government and armed forces together will pave the way of Afghanistan. He said Prime Minister Imran Khan is fighting the case of the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir in the entire world. Japanese Navy ship Yugri has arrived in Karachi port. According to the spokesperson of Pakistan Navy, the senior officials of Pakistan Navy and the Japanese defense attache welcomed the ship. The two countries' ships also held joint exercises in which multilateral naval operations were demonstrated. The bilateral exercise is a reflection of the Pakistan Navy's commitment to peace and stability in the region. The Pakistan Navy and the Japanese Navy are working together for maritime security and stability in the region. Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting Farooq Habib says Prime Minister Imran Khan is courageously fighting the case of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and has exposed the dirty face of Modi-led government and United Nations General Assembly and world. Talking to private news channel, he said due to Prime Minister's effective and sustained efforts, the Western media is also writing against the brutalities of Indian occupying forces in Kashmir. India has waged a hybrid war against Pakistan to defame it and the Kashmir's freedom struggle by using media, cyber technology and terrorism tools. A report released by Kashmir Media Service said India is striving to equate Kashmir freedom struggle with the terrorism through false flag operations and concerted propaganda. The report said India is planning false flag operations to malign Pakistan at the international level. 33 out of 78 ministers and prime ministers Modi's revamped cabinet have admitted in their affidavits that there are criminal cases against them. Kashmir Media Service quoting South Asian Wire reported that 24 ministers have declared in affidavits serious criminal cases against them including murder attempt to murder and robbery. World Population Day is being observed today in the world to raise awareness of global population issues. The theme for the World Population Day 2021 is rights and choices are the answer where the baby boom or bust is the solution to shifting fertility rates lies in prioritizing all people's reproductive health and rights. In his message on the World Population Day, Punjab Chief Minister Sardar Usman Buzdar has said that rapid growth in population is increasing problems which are a threat to human survival on the earth. In Nigeria, 35 people have been killed after unknown gunmen launched coordinated attacks on the remote villages in Zamfara state. The spokesman of the state police said President Mahmoudou, Mahmoudou Buhari has condemned the killings and ordered security agencies to do everything possible to prevent the reoccurrence of attacks. In Bulgaria, polling is being held today for parliamentary elections second time in three months after an April election resulted in a fragmented parliament. Today's vote will decide whether parties can form the next government after a decade of political dominance by long-serving Premier Bokyo Brasov. In Sudan, four people have been killed in an explosion at sports venue in Port Sudan. In a statement, the Central Committee of Sudan doctors said three others were also injured after being shot or stabbed. The third and final one-day international between Pakistan and England will be played at Birmingham on Tuesday. England leads the series from 2-0. 
And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, you can always log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch our live streaming of bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radiopakistan news official.